I am Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri. I'm a holistic health professional and welcome to Staying Well with Dr. Mary Jo. Would you like a healthy brain? Would you like to be sharp and be 125 years old? You can. We're going to talk today about food for a healthy brain. This is so important because it's possible and we don't think about it. Certain types of chemicals, certain types of nutrients that we're not getting in our bodies even when we're 20, 30, 40 years old have a high correlation for people getting Alzheimer's and dementia. In recent years, I'm going to read some of this to you because I think the research is, is profound. In recent years, res research has been really looking at which nutrients and eating patterns are especially helpful or harmful for brain function. Studies have found that certain foods keep your brain healthy and protect all of your mental facilities as you get older. And that's in key. You know what, and so often our anti-aging medicine is showing the prevention of Alzheimer's and dementia. And if we can be prevented, we've got to start talking about it and really getting it going now. So the brain regulates the entire body. I mean, and that's key. And also, the brain influences your immune system, and your immune system affects the brain. Everything goes down to brain-boosting nutrients. So let's talk about that. In general, foods such as, and you, we probably all understand this, but foods such as fresh fruits, vegetables, fish, whole grain, nuts, legumes, and beans can fight inflammation and protect the brain health. And you know, inflammation is one of the key things that medicine is talking about now. Everything from holistic medicine on down. They're finding the effect of inflammation. How do you get inflammation? It's a byproduct of you're not being able to digest certain foods and to regulate your body system. Many of these, such as herbs and spices, also have powerful antioxidant effects. Now, fruits and vegetables that have dark skins maintain your highest with the antioxidants. That's really important. Now, the key fruits that I think are good for brain-boosting nutrients are blueberries, strawberries, plums, red or black grapes, and okay, if you want a glass of red wine, that's probably there. Also, another big key in keeping your mental facilities sharp at 90 is keeping your communication flowing. Your brain talks to itself. Your brain cells communicate and anti-inflammatory foods can get the communication flowing and keep going. That's leafy green vegetables such as broccoli, kale. Kale's wonderful. People go, oh, kale. Steam a little kale. Put some, you know, a balsamic vinegar on it. You know, you can make kale chips, spinach, arugula are all high in antioxidants. Eggplant, yellow, orange, and green bell peppers. So it's important because the studies are just profound when it comes to keeping the communication, the synapse going in your brain. Yes, people say, well, can I play crossword puzzles and can I do some of this? And we say, of course, that's always good. But if you don't have the nutrients to be able to keep yourself, uh, you know, very, very sharp about doing reading or teaching or keeping yourself active. If you don't have the sustenances and the right nutrients, nothing's going to help. Now also, the power of the omega, the omega-3 and the omega-6s. And almost the most of the brain-friendly sources are, these, especially our fats, are omega-3 fatty acids, which are key components of cell membranes and are particularly concentrated in the nervous system. Nerve tissues use omega-3 as building blocks for cells. So, cold water fish like salmon, trout, mackerel, you know, uh, halibut, sardines, anchovies, you like those. Also, there's plant. The plant sources of the omega-3s are coconut, coconut oil. Walnuts, incredibly high. Hemp seeds, canola oil, flax seeds, and again, You've got to maintain the power of the omega. Now, many, many psychiatrists are trying to help people, especially young people that they put on antidepressants, with trying to get, build them with the omega-3s and using a lot of that. The other one is sunshine on my shoulders, sunshine for a better brain. Vitamin D absolutely helps to regulate the growth and the development of nerve cells. And your, your whole brain is, is, is clocked by nerve cells. It also supports the stem cells that make new brain tissues. 
vitamin D, okay? Lower vitamin D is associated with lower performance on cognitive tests. And you know, you really need to really get your vitamin C D uh, tested so that you understand this. You know, some of the things that will end, so one of the things I think is also very good with keeping your brain active and functioning are spices. Some of the spices that are powerful for, that have the highest antioxidant content ground cloves, dried oregano, dried rosemary, thyme, turmeric, you know that, ground cinnamon, dried parsley. Now, look at the essence of this. We can do something about it. Why not at 40 years old, 30 years old, start to enhance, even our children who are maybe ADHD or have things that are cognitive issues, let's start looking at some of the things that we can do with food as medicine for brain power. Thank you.